Are you hungry? Because if so, you're on the right channel because today we're having lunch at Sushi Show, the best sushi restaurant that I've ever been to in Europe at least. Join me. So I'm lucky. Um, I've been here all the week at Sushi Show. Um, they allowed me to do an internship in the kitchen. And I've been helping them to prep um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And today it's Saturday and I get to enjoy what I prepped yesterday for lunch today. I've been here, I think this is the fifth or the sixth time. I always try to go here once a year in summer when I'm in Sweden. And it's, it really is, like I said at the beginning, it is my favorite sushi place in Europe. Not only for the amazing quality of the, of the food, but also for the atmosphere, the guys that work here. They're all really nice, really knowledgeable. They know a lot, of, not only about sushi and, and sushi produce, but also about sake and wine. Really good guys. And at Sushi Show, they offer a sake pairing. It's really worthwhile that they come here, because they really know their sake. This is Kalle, the owner. Preparing all that I guess is the first sashimi dish of the month. I don't think we will be starting. I actually think we'll be starting with these guys, and I know what they are. We've been preparing them yesterday. Uh, or yesterday's lunch learning. I always prepare them fresh. But if it's what I think it is, it's shawamushi with some uh, langoustines and corn. Uh, let's see when they open it. Now it's one of the really special things here at Sushi Show is that basically all of the guys working here are chefs. And all of these guys that are chefs have also been in uh, some of your training and uh, special sake training. So they're really knowledgeable about their stuff. And that's not something you see in every restaurant. So you have to tell me as well, Yuki. Because I heard something I didn't know. Shaban means? Shaban is the, the bowl. The, yeah, okay. It's like a tea cup. Yeah. Like traditionally yes. a tea cup. And mushi is steamed. Okay. Steamed steam yeah. yeah. A steamed bowl. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also based always based with the dashi and, and the eggs. Cat mm -hmm. coagulate. With this like smooth cream. And it's made with the uh, langoustines and uh, pork. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This beauty. Thank you. This is amazing. Now, one of my jobs this week has been to do the langoustines for us. Very nice and light. And I think it's something I will try to do on the, the Gurga channel as well, so you can make it. I will continue eating this, and let's see what they bring us next. Okay, what the second dish? We have shrimps that are caught in, uh, not in nets, but in cages. And, uh, frozen on the boat, and then in Norwegian. We have uh, tuna, shutoro, so fatty pork, not the fattiest, but fatty pork. And then we have some yellowtail, put a bit of soy on it, and uh, the green is, um, I did that as well during this week. It's basically chopped up um, green parts of spring onion, and then you uh, use a kind of the Japanese version of that mortar to make it into this kind of paste. I'm gonna dig into this now. It's so creamy and kind of creamy fatty, but not in a fat way, not like butter fat. But they're so nice. There's a sweetness to them. Awesome. Onto the tuna. A little bit of salt on it. Tamasabi, freshly grated. What I love here is that it's all very, very pure. They don't try to mess with the flavor of the produce too much. 
That would be amazing. Let's see what they bring us next. I see Alex and you here, they're preparing the daikon. Past workers. My voice has to get you. So, daikon radish, braised in dashi, miso, and mustard on top. Thank you very much. Eat daikon and what's on top and drink the dashi. Yeah. Thank you, okay. The way to eat this, then you need to die. Amazing. I drink the dust. Very good. Okay. We're having the sushi show first from Shabu Shabu. We have wild salmon, we have halibut, we have a cube or cube bowl of uh, daikon radish. You should split it up between the two pieces of fish. Very good. What they do is um, they just basically run the fish through in, in one motion uh, through dashi. Yeah. It just changes the texture a little bit of the fish. It's very nice. So, one like a ponzu. One correction from the shabu shabu. Yeah, no, 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 no. It wasn't turbid. It was turbid. And shabu shabu apparently is a very good difference from the sound that it makes when you dip your uh, protein into the broth. Everything is cool. Then. That's what, what makes this so exciting, right? That there's so knowledge. And if you want, you can just suck in the knowledge. You don't have to, they don't force it on you. If you're interested, there's so much to tell you. So, some trivia knowledge. Um, I'll so 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 leave the link um, in the description below. But they've had a star in the now for the next edition, will be the ninth year running. Um, so, it's it's for sure up there with the best of the best. Um, and most of the guys that work here, some of them have been here for the, from the beginning, which is, I think, now almost 14 years. Um, and I can say this because I, I've, I've had the opportunity and, and the pleasure and the privilege to um, do 14 days of work here. And it's such a great team. Um, no one is um, worried about doing the lesser jobs, you know, everyone helps each other. And they're all passionate about the restaurant. They all, I think, in a way, they all feel like, like it's their restaurant. Obviously, there is a home, but uh, I think everyone who works here uh, feels a lot about the restaurant. I think it's, it's really nice. It was a really nice experience to be part of this team. So we're on to the next dish. It's octopus with the zest of sutaki, sutaki, it's a citrus fruit and some wasabi on it. Really nice and tender. You got a hint of citrus there and obviously the, the sharpness of the wasabi. Another excellent dish. That's also nice here, you know, it's a small dish, you have to small dish. Kampai. <laughs> We're on to our next sake. This is unpasteurized, so it still has the yeast in it. And uh, the polishing degree was between the first two, so it still has a bit of a fruit in it, also a lot of the rice. Very nice. It's, um, I don't have to explain it. I don't have the sake vocabulary, but in my mind, it's a bit, a bit more. A bit more fresh in the mouth. Maybe that's the unpasteurizedness of it. It's, it's, it's not bubbly, but it's almost a bit bubbly. 
difficult to explain. You have to try to solve I hope you can see that it's one of those liver that is preparing now. It's something I haven't eaten often, but when it's always been amazing. And here it is, the monkfish liver. I think I've only had this twice in my life. Every time, it's been fantastic. Just as nice as goose liver, if not even better. There's a nice sweet dashi. It's not wasabi on top. It's supposed to be really good with sake, so we have that before. And a bit after. It's so creamy. It's crazy. And the sweet dashi. I could bathe it. I could bathe it in the sake as well. I'm not sure I'll be sober by the end of this episode, but uh, just try with you. I look a bit strange where I'm sitting, but uh, I'm actually at the chef's table. It's a, a one a person place on top of the drinks fridge, but it's amazing because you can see everything. I'll turn the camera around. So this is my view. This is the whole restaurant. They have a seat on the table at the back by the window. It's at four. And at the counter, they have six, seven, eight, six, eleven, plus four, fifteen. It's not a big restaurant. Book uh, in advance when you stop. I think they released two months before they released the, the reservation spots. And I can see already next up is the house classic. It's a soy short egg yolk, soy mirin, sashimi cubes. I think the original was tuna, and we have tuna today as well. And again, everyone's helping to get it ready. So I hear Yuki is coming with a house special. So soy cured egg yolk with the okra, spring onions, toasted rice and the lean part of the tuna. So you should break the yolk and just blend it together. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So that one I don't have to explain because Yuki did it for us. I hope you heard it. Just mixing up the soy cured egg yolk. The spring onions, the lean tuna, and the okra, and the roasted rice. As I mentioned, this is uh, kind of the house special. I'm not sure if it's been on the menu since the beginning, but it's been on the menu for a very long time. And the only thing that varies is the fish. Sometimes you get this with a salmon trout, for instance. I've had it with salmon trout, so it's very good. And I even tried to do this on Gogat. So far, not as good as this, but okay for a home cook. Put the link up there. The egg makes it really, really nice and creamy. I'm not a big okra fan, but this is, you could explain it to me, it's basically unripe okra, so it's not slimy. Overall, amazing. Now let's see what's up next. Oh. And it's been my job for the whole week to uh, cure the egg yolks in, uh, in soy and meal. It's a 50-50 mix. You just have to be careful with them. And uh, they cured for about 
six hours maybe, something like that. You cure them in the morning and then you use them for service in the afternoon and evening. And I can already see now, up next is the kiddies. So that is uh, basically Carl Kalle, the owner who makes them. You can get a special uh, wooden plate, a wooden tray with a white napkin on it. So you can dip your fingers so that the rice doesn't stick to them. So I'm gonna see if I can film Kalle when he makes the nikiri for you. He's a semaphore, so it's nice to see all the flowing movement. <laughs> Something I wish I could do, but uh, it takes years of training. I can't see. If you get very close enough, but it's um, if you watch his hands, it's like a dance. And I managed to get one of the first. Mm. What I love here is the rice. Mm. Oh, that's rice. Uh, they don't wash the rice, they, they soak it and they make it with the vinegar and salt on it, so no sugar. That's, um, to me it's unlike any other sushi rice I've had. So you can see Yuki, he's marinating the tuna. Just a really quick marinade with soy sauce. So I didn't get a chance to tell you, but the first nigiri we got was uh, sea bass. Thanks, Mikael. Scala. We're on our fourth sake in the pair. <laughs> this is, uh, it's a little bit less filtering on it. So it's, it's, it's not cloudy by any means, but it, you can see it. it's a little bit cloudy. But not really. Very nice. Yeah, and how cold is this one? It's supposed to have a longer taste than not. Not sure I can tell. It's very pleasant. I see you might be preparing. So what you just saw Yuki cutting there is... Um, it's normally the, the, the part of the, the turbot that you cut away on the sides. But it has meat on it, obviously, so it cuts into that. And you'll see it later when I get to try it. So this is the tray I told you about. Thanks, Michael. It's halibut with salt and sedation. And this is coffee cube. It's amazing what the guys do here. Just the, just the salt and so on. Such a different dimension than you normally have from, from like an Ikea sushi. Obviously, the combo cured halibut is always something special. Looking forward to the next one. This is a hand to hand second. Fascinating. To me, it's better than the ballet. Tack så mycket. Tack så mycket, Tack. Tack. Så. The play is called Pärön. I think we're getting to the tuna. Tack så mycket. Tack så Thank <laughs> you.
I don't know what else this is. It's amazing. You saw it, it was too. So pure, so good. And we're back here. That's Guillermo. And Dennis helped me a lot this week, he showed me the ropes. And he's basically doing everything that's warm. He's preparing in the small kitchen in the back. But now it's prepared in the miso soups. We're getting towards the end. That's okay. Guillermo. Thank you. Miso soup, I just got there. It's, it's a very pure miso soup. It's this miso and some spring onions in it. My Kiyoka taught me yesterday everything in Japan that's what has to be piping on, so this is piping on. Very good. So let's see where the surprise comes. Because every time I've been here, there's a special you can order at the end. And I always order it because it's so good. Obviously, the fatty is cut. It's called the toro in Japanese. That means it's made uh, melted. Because it does, it starts melting your mouth. And we make uh, three extra servings out of these parts. And we do one as sashimi, one as nigiri, and one as a taco with caviar on top. So the otoro. They always come at the end, and they have, um, I don't know if you heard you okay, but they have, they have three different specials that you can order at the end. It's, uh, it's a sashimi otoro, it's a tartaro otoro, and it's a nigiri otoro. And as I said, it's the fifth or sixth time I'm here. Every time I've ordered all three, because you kind of have to. It's, it's a bit of a luxury, but you know, if you're here once a year, that's what you have to do. So I'm looking forward to those coming. Now they're basically preparing the specials. Here you see the sashimi. Yuki is cutting. In the background, you see that. Kremlin is also preparing the sashimi. So we're starting off with the sashimi. A lot of wasabi, a little bit of soy sauce, and then you put it in your mouth and you let it melt. Amazing. And this this obviously it's fresh wasabi, so it's uh, it's much nicer than one of the tube, which basically there's no wasabi in it, but it's not as aggressive. If you go here, always take the special. Let's see if we can prepare the tartar. We got spring onions. We got soy before as well. Yeah, it's just mixed up. So this is the Otoro Nigiri. You just turn it fish towards your tongue so that it melts. If I was on death row and I had a choice of a last meal, Otoro would be it. Otoro from Sushi I mean, if you've been watching some of these Gurgut on tour, you know that I'm always positive. But that's because I probably wouldn't film something that I don't enjoy. 
This is uh, really one of my top picks of restaurants that go to in Europe for sure. You know, I don't have a huge reach or anything, but if I can, can convince any of you to go to Sushi Shore, my day's made. It's, just, it's really worth it. And now we watch what you care. Put in the final touch in the water or tartar. It's just a nice spoon of uh, caviar. I hope you can see this. Dividing the caviar up a bit. We go in first. This is so perversely good. Now I told you this is also the favorite restaurant of my daughter and my wife. It says a lot. It's not only my favorite. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. I now had the last dish. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Give me the huge favor. Go visit Sushi Show if you're in Stockholm. Or even if you're not in Stockholm, it's worth the trip alone. Go to Stockholm, have lunch or dinner at Sushi Show. Guys are great. The food is amazing. You're not going to regret the experience. Okay. Bye bye for this time.